overall. History is filled with lots of instances of inflation, from rel- relatively minor inflation where the problems aren't too bad, to hyperinflation, like as happened in post-World War One Germany. And the higher inflation gets, the faster at which the rate of inflation uh, uh, runs, the, the worse the damage. But it always causes some damage. Politicians, of course, as you allude to, love to blame everyone other than themselves. So we had Elizabeth Warren recently blaming the rise in grocery prices, not on her own institution, the government, which injected unprecedented amounts of purchasing power into the economy, but blaming it on greed, blaming it on the alleged monopolization of retail grocery. Nothing could be more absurd than that. First of all, you can't, people don't spend greed units. We Americans spend dollars. And so if there are no more dollars to spend, prices can't rise. We're spending more dollars because the government injected more dollars into the economy. And as far as uh, the competition in the grocery industry is concerned, this is absurd. We have all sorts of, of, of options uh, of, of how to buy groceries. We can buy gro- groceries through, through, through Amazon. We can go to Walmart. We can go to Target. We can go to Kroger. We can go to the many local supermarkets that are around, like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. There's enormous amounts of competition in retail grocery. So for Elizabeth Warren to blame rising grocery prices, uh, not on the government, but on greed and monopolization, only shows that this woman is either astonishingly economically ill-informed or she's mendacious, one of the two. There's no other third alternative.